this season on Beyond Skinwalker Ranch. Guys, buckle up. Oh my gosh. Look at all this activity that's happening. There's a UFO buried there. A UFO buried. When I saw this, my jaw just hit the table. There is something on this ranch that seems to be trying to communicate. I've caught one. I've caught a skinwalker here in this area. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, it just went. There's some kind of disturbance over here. It's going down. It looks like it's trying to fly through a force field. We cannot rule out a secret military base right there in those mountains. You sure you guys weren't bugged? We're already known. This is a situation in Intel that we call burn. This pisses me off. What it sounds like we need to do is uncover what's below the surface. The question is, how do we do that? Burn the hole! Oh! Whoa! All frequencies in the spectrum are being charged. That radiation is above 6,000. We're pegging out. Let me see what happens. Whoa. Yeah, that got a reaction. Oh, my gosh. Whoa. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. We absolutely want to follow up on this. If Bigelow would have found that, he would have stayed. You ready? There is a connection between the paranormal, UFOs, and the myths of ancient history. The clues are scattered across the landscape from a forbidden past, maybe even in your own backyard. There is a connection between the true nature of our reality, consciousness, and the unexplained. I'm Carl the Crusher. Let's explore the unknown. I just wanted to update you guys that I have full permission now from History Channel and Skinwalker Ranch and Brandon Fugel and everybody as a full partner to be able to announce that uh, we were on the Beyond Skinwalker Ranch television show. Uh, episode two airing on the 13th is going to feature uh, myself and Jeff McBurney and uh, Andrew Bustamante and Paul, uh, the award-winning uh, war journalist, they all came up here in collaboration with the team at Skinwalker Ranch and did an investigation here in the snow. This whole place was covered in snow at that time and we did lots of cool stuff, but I have full permission. I think it's the first time History Channel has ever done this with anybody to film all of the behind the scenes footage. Um, I kind of did it without permission, and then when they realized that I had all of that content, they decided that they were cool with it. The film crew liked me and they were cool with it. They liked my YouTube channel and everything. And so for, I think, the first time ever, I have permission to do all the behind the scenes footage and break the fourth wall and show everything that happened. And you get to see the film crew and how we don't fake anything and how it all happened in real time when we were up here at Mount Wilson Ranch doing the investigations and everything that occurred, including I get to tell the long story with all the details uh, when their cameras turned off and other stuff. Um, as long as it uh, fits in with the editing and everything that happens uh, to the overall story that we're trying to make sure that we present and isn't just like a dumb waste of time, I get to share all of that with you guys. So I'm really excited to bring that and share that with you too. So we're gonna be jumping back into a, time for, into a timeline when this whole place was covered in snow, doing a lot of amazing research. And I'm sorry, but the behind the scenes footage that I got was before I had the professional microphone equipment. So I'm gonna to try to do the best that I can to adjust for the wind noise. So make sure and check out the Beyond Skinwalker Ranch season and episodes where episode number two actually happens here at Mount Wilson Ranch, where Andrew Bustamante and Paul and Jeff and I, we all get to explore this whole place and do some amazing stuff. And you're gonna to get to watch it all on the History Channel officially.
Welcome back to the Carl the Crusher channel. I am back at Mount Wilson Ranch. We are here for a super secret project. I'm actually not allowed to talk about whatsoever, but it's the middle of the night. We're out in front of the saloon. We have a bunch of snow. So it's a winter wonderland in front of the haunted motel exactly. Keep going. and the haunted Just saloon. Go, go. We're driving down in front of the bunkhouse right now. This right here is where the weird animal mutilation wound up at the top of the road that went clear down to the meadow, but we have a lot of cool stuff to do. I'm gonna film as much as I can, uh, when I can and when I'm allowed, but we are doing some mind-blowing stuff, guys. Once again, here we are by the meadow and the bunkhouses going in to tour the settler's cabin, doing some initial scouting for some folks who haven't been here before, but we already know there's some anomalous infrasound readings that come from inside or underneath this cabin or something that appears to be buried in the meadow out front that amplifies paranormal experiences and human consciousness. But the idea is if it's amplifying whatever's going on in your mind or consciousness, can we capture evidence of that on camera? Or with scientific equipment can we catch an or of a shadow figure or any kind of evidence that there is something outside the physical reality that we usually know we are up at the top of the meadow right now scoping some stuff out for some crazy plans that we have but we're not sure exactly where we're gonna do them yet we got a little hiking through the snow to do Odie She's been doing all the hiking in the snow. <laughs> you go all over the place, don't you, girl? She goes Damn! Everywhere. It is different walking out here at night, Jeff. I'm not going to lie. Oh, come on, you're calling the pressure, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Scouting out these lava vent tubes. It is weird walking around here at night, mostly worried about mountain lions and stuff, but. It would be interesting, very interesting to see if there's anything hidden in where these uh, abandoned tubes, these holes, see, and Cody always seems to go down and dig like she knows there's something under there. Look at her. I think all these sinkholes connect to a bigger mystery underground. Back up in the uh, infamous saloon at Mount Wilson Ranch right now where I've even had paranormal encounters and stuff here where we've caught the uh, stick figure apparition up on top of the bar and over on top of that table. But I get the honor of actually hanging up an official Carl the Crusher flag here in the saloon. So anybody who ever comes here and visits Mount Wilson Ranch, I get to hang my uh, flag right up there where we're gonna be putting in our research station right inside this door right here in the bar. So how cool is that? Oh, see, look how cool that is. I even threw an autograph, signed it and dated it. So anybody who comes and visits Mount Wilson Ranch, there's the flag. Dude, Dick, I just think it's hilarious that I do everything that I do with my phone and you guys have to show up with this giant truck full of stuff. <laughs> this is so crazy. Is this for the BTS? What the heck? Behind the scenes? Oh, yes, sir. Hello. I guess after the episode airs, I could technically, right? No, right. you're no, not I... allowed to do this. <laughs> Here, let me put out the safety oh, cones. Nobody, nobody get that. hurt. <laughs> So I do all this with my cell phone and a selfie yeah, stick in this guy. <laughs> so funny. Look at the safety cones. Watch your step, Nick. Watch your step. Don't don't fall. <laughs> Parking lot is so slick that this thing might slide into the saloon. Every time he tries to back up and like wants to run into the building, see? <laughs> do you want me to move my truck? <laughs> It's so crazy how much gear it requires to do this. And this isn't even all of it. This is just like a staging area. But eventually, this whole room is going to end up being a headquarters and laboratory for all of our experiments to be able to do geological samples 
uh, infrasound tests and do all kinds of stuff. And then over here, we're actually going to set it up and have a like a podcast live stream room and treat this sort of like a headquarters where we can put up uh, different artifacts and things like that and broadcast and do podcasts and interviews right from here. And what's really cool about it is you just step right out here. Boom. There's my flag and you're right in the haunted saloon. It's the real deal. So you compare all of that equipment to mine. Here, this is my gear right here. This one bag. That's all my stuff in there. How's the hens? <laughs> How's the old, all the chicks doing? Oh, they're happy today. Look at the ladies. You having a good morning? These yeah. Producers. This is awesome. You guys are all self-sufficient up here. You got chickens and goats and all kinds of cool stuff. So, very cool. Way to go. We have a bunch of stuff going on out here today, so in the next few days. So we have to move some of this pipe and get ready for some big things that are happening and I'm not really allowed to talk about. We're kind of filming behind the scenes in between where we can, so we'll see what we can do here. Moving the pipe. Moving some pipe. Okay, we got pipe. This is Craw Creek down here, running down the meadow. Wilson Ranch. We gotta move some stuff out of the way because we got a nice glorious day today, huh? Yeah, it's some pretty crummy weather, but we're having a good time. Yeah. Holy scratches. Yeah. Good old dum dum. Your your previous dog? Yes. He loved this pipe. It he would always, it would always be a treat inside the pipe. Oh, there was always like a mouse or something hidden in there. Mouse, rabbit. He's trying to chase it out. And it was always his treat. He dragged this pipe up and down the meadow. That's hilarious. So Jeff's gonna haul this big pipe out of the way and get it out of Craw Creek and get ready for some tests that we're gonna do here. Um, yeah. This is not the typical weather for Nevada. Notice how I'm just sitting here enjoying my hot coffee while Jeff does all the hard labor in the snow. <laughs> He's gotta do all the hard work on it. The price you gotta pay sometimes. Jeff, your coffee tastes so warm and good right now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, come on now. 
You got it. It's still going. You're going. You got it. <laughs> life, day, life on the farm. I don't even know how to talk. It's so freaking cold. I can't think straight. Oh my gosh. Operation Rescue. Operation Rescue. We keep getting vehicles stuck in the snow out here. Look how close this is. Don't get pinned, Jeff. And we've got my truck down here. This is the third time we've used it now. <clears throat> right? Second time we've almost destroyed the diner sliding cars into it. But <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah. Ah, what a device. We got it. That thing has worked great. Woo. We just broke the handle. Yeah, the but that's okay. Burn that baby right off. We had to shove that under the wheel to get it out. But we got it. What a sloppy mess up get here. Get sauce has been saved. It's crazy. Get sauce, yeah. Get Sauce, he has an awesome barbecue restaurant down in Pioch. If you come up here, come through Nevada, make the pilgrimage to Mount Wilson Ranch, go check it out. Look at this insane, awesome drive-along camera rig these guys have got on the Jeep out here. They're gonna be driving out through the snow and the mud, getting some awesome footage. But uh, I've been getting a lot of like cool behind the scenes stuff. I don't even know how much I'm allowed to film, Jeff, but whatever. Wait a second, you're- We're at your house, right? It's nice to be independent, huh? That's right, <laughs> yes. <laughs> So hectic up here right now. <laughs> Look at these guys, I'm walking down the hallway here. They even have like a spread of snacks out here on the counter right by the ancient pottery and the flakes. So in case you get hungry, you can get a treat. I think that's so funny. Yeah, but they're gonna be separated within the, within the show. Yeah. That's crazy. Get you close to me. Yeah. As you can tell, we're basically just uh, dealing with the weather, snowing, all kinds of randomness up here that we're uh, coping with. But luckily this time, I'm kind of just uh, filming around and about side stuff. It's not on my shoulders this time to be the one holding the camera, doing most of the difficult work. I get to actually be in front of the camera a lot this time, which is really, really cool. So stay tuned with all of that stuff. Hopefully I'll get to tell you a lot more and get permission to tell you what's going on. But we have some really cool plans involving drones going underground, uh, doing all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, maybe even opening up some entrances, uh, getting out some big equipment, you name it. It's like high tech meets the Wild West. Look at the snow coming down, holy smokes. It's really fascinating to me. Here we are in one of the oldest standing saloons in America. There's another one here in Nevada and I'm not sure how many others even exist. And it's here in the original spot where all this intrigue and mystery goes on. And, and it's this infamous location where Bob Bigelow was with the motel, the ghost sightings and the shaman. And now it's colliding with futuristic science and technology and a whole bunch of professional research. But man, it is really snowing and coming down. So we're gonna do the best that we can with what we got. We're flying drones, looking at the sky, doing all kinds of cool stuff that we're not allowed to talk about. You're just gonna have to stay tuned and uh, we'll uh, shout it out when we can and let you know. Okay. 
kind of wandering around, chill and relax, just drinking my coffee, watching hordes and hordes of other people do all the heavy lifting, do, do all the work, and I just get to kind of enjoy it. And, and honestly, some really big, exciting stuff is going on. And uh, I can't wait. The next couple of days are going to be crazy. The nice thing about having it actually be really snowy outside like this is that all you got to do is bundle up, make sure you got some warm coffee, and it gives you the advantage so you can see tracks in the ground where things walk. So if anything strange or anomalous leaves tracks on the ground down in the meadow or around any kind of evidence, any animals or weird skinwalker tracks, uh, anything weird like that, I don't know what that would look like, but we would be able to see it in the snow. surreal to see that. Did you ever think this day would come to? Yes. Yes. We, we did actually. Look at all the people here. Crazy stuff. Come look out on the front porch of your saloon now. <laughs> Going on a taking a field trip. I'm just so blown away by this, like, <laughs> look at this. <laughs> what is this stuff? What is this? <laughs> what did they put on? I don't oh even... my goodness, look at the sky. Whoa, dude, look at the sunset. Wow, this is not CGI. This is for real. Whoa. Now's when you gotta fly your drone. Dude, you get your drone in the fucking air. <laughs> Look at that. Holy shit. Look at that, right? Good morning. <clears throat> this is what it's like trying to drive up to the saloon from the bunkhouse in the morning now. <laughs> it's crazy. It is the most snow they've gotten up here in forever. And my truck's in four wheel drive and I can still barely make it up through the snow on this dirt road here because we got dumped on last night i can barely even see out the window see like it's all snowed in <laughs> how'd it go boss perfect absolutely well, excellent really oh. was a lot of fun was it really fun yeah it was was it more than you bargained for I'm giving everybody context and clues <laughs> with the big cameras in front. We're going to figure no. this out. We're figuring we're it out, right? We're going to figure this out one way or the other. Well, it sounded like you did well, so. <laughs> awesome. Let's go, Terminator. <laughs> and now suddenly, the sky has parted. It's uh, blue skies. The snow stopped. And man, it is beautiful. Look at this. It's like inside of a winter wonderland. Uh, everything's like frosted with snow. I've never seen it like this up here. It's uh, gorgeous. What a great day to be working with all these people up here. Uh, so far, so good. Everybody's having a great time. It sounds like Jeff is nailing it and doing a good job. Looks like everybody's going into the shaman room. Wow, you can really see the tower on top of Mount Wilson, the way it's backlit with the clouds and the fog right there. That's as far as I can zoom in, but you can see it pretty clearly up there. I'll show you, oh, I just stepped in a hole. Here, I'll zoom out and you can see, this is how far away it is from here right in front of uh, the diner, the saloon, and the haunted motel. But wow, I've never seen the landscape like this before up here. It's so pretty. 
can't believe it. With all the snow frosting on everything. It's gorgeous now that the sun's out. Time for me to get mic'd up. I think it's my turn. Hold the smokes. Here we go. scientific readings in the settler's cabin right now. Just finished in the settler's cabin. What did find out? We're gonna have to wait and see. I can't do it We can't. Glasses. I know, it's so bright outside. As soon as I take them off, I'm like, Ugh! my eyes are watering like crazy. You guys did some scientific research. Three times? We're not gonna, what are we, we can't talk about it yet. It's all secret. Okay, behind the scenes, behind the scenes. Apparently it's uh, validating. where I have to hide around the corner and stay out of everything. They're lurking right out there. I'd like to have them out here to just cover this in a way that we can't cover with handheld devices. Sounds great. Yeah, let me see if we can't get them out here. Next level. I mean, let's see what Flag said. I do. Uh, I don't do. The meadow. Did you find anything in the meadow? All over the you did? Okay, don't say anything. And you walkie talkies. Communicators. But you found something. We have flags. We're not seven. crazy. Crazy. Well, we are, black flags. We're going to be but, but our numbers are growing. <laughs> Just got done up here at the original archaeologist's cabin, the settler's house. The convoy is getting ready to roll over to the mines, but so far so good. Everything's been going well, but thank goodness for the cloud cover because I can't do anything without my sunglasses on. The sun's killing me. Day one is a wrap. It's actually day three up here, but day one for this big project underway. We're in the upper meadow right now by the lava vent tubes, the archaic mine shafts. We just went and explored all of those. And now Jeff and a few of the rest of the team here are doing some cool experiments out in the upper meadow, places that we haven't really done a whole lot of research. So I'm really filming a lot of behind the scenes as much as I can but it's really not my job on this trip. I'm just trying to uh, get what I can when we're hanging out in these cold moments. But right now we're just cruising in the Jeep back up to the saloon because I am finally done for the day. There's the settlers or the, there's the shaman's cabin where the first sighting of the shaman occurred right there. Oh, yes, thank you. 
Look at this crazy overnight security camera spread. They got a camera down there on the pillar. They got some up there, one over there. Trying to catch all kinds of paranormal activity or anything that goes on. Even they've got one long shot looking down the hall. I can see that one right there. Hey, there's me. Oops. <laughs> Is that a ghost coming through the door of us? <laughs> it is 11 o'clock at night. I'm using my iPhone. The moon is so full and so bright that I can see <laughs> as good as almost daylight out here right now. It's so crazy. It's almost the middle of the night. And um, I love when the visibility is like this. There's almost no wind, a tiny little breeze. It's like being inside a snow globe, but so quiet out here. Right? Is he running into an anomaly again? Look at it. Look at it. Oh my gosh, it's not gonna make it. Carrying a box of explosives on your shoulder. Dude. Whoa, dude. Five, four, 